Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is now day 10 since I have last been to work. I hope you guys are all doing well in these very, very strange times. I hope that you're all staying safe and I really, really hope that you guys are all staying sane. Right now, I think the only things keeping me together are doing makeup and playing Stardew Valley. If I didn't have those, I think I probably would have already annoyed my boyfriend to death. So, yeah. Today, as I'm filming this, it is Wednesday. And of course, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. So I just wanted to jump on and do another tutorial because what else am I gonna do with all this free time at this point except go and water my parsnips in Stardew Valley? So here it is. It's pretty easy, straightforward spotlight eye. I really wanted to do something using the Mitchell palette again because it was one of my favorite palettes of last year. And I was gonna say I haven't used it recently Recently, but I did use it in my last video, but I wanted to do something using it by itself So I use it on the eyes. I used it for my blush as well, and I feel extra extra pink and Yeah, that's that's basically it So if you'd like to see how I got this look then just keep watching all right guys as always my eyes are primed with my P Louise base I've done the top and the bottom lid today because I want to do everything in one go And I'm going to jump into my me myself and Mitchell palette from Beauty Bay I'm going to do something really really pink today So I'm going to be using the matte shades down here here in this row and the first one is going to be the shade mini of course taking that on a zoeva 231 brush i'm going to start popping that on the outer and inner thirds of my eye i'm just taking that up to my crease i don't really want to go any higher and then i'm just going to take it onto the lower lash line as well connect these bits up and again i'm going to leave the center blank I look so weird right now. <laughs> Next up, I'm taking another Zoeva 231, and this time I'm gonna go into Morning Glory. And I'm gonna start blending those out and bringing it upwards. And this shade will 100% stain your eyes. I'm taking this one through the crease and then just above so that it's just peeking out. And again, I'm doing the same thing on the lower lash line. And then we're gonna go into yet another one and this time we're taking milkshake and again just blending all of those out. This is just such a nice little selection of pinks. I do really, really like them. So then I just wanna make sure that I'm really, really happy with the shape of the eyeshadow. So I'm just perfecting it with that shade milkshake. It's nice and blended out at the edges. And then I'm gonna go back in with the previous two shades. Just make sure it's nicely blended out. So I'm doing that with Morning Glory first. And then also back in just with a little bit more of Mini. I'm gonna jump into the Living My Best Light Liquid Eyeshadow by Beauty Bay. This is the shade Opal. I bought this for Valentine's Day looks and I can't really remember if I used it. I might have used it once, but it's just a nice pink. I'm gonna start by filling in the center of the eye with this one. It's not hugely pigmented and it's also not particularly glittery. It feels more reflective than glittery. I'm gonna take a clean Zoeva brush to start off with and just try and blend in the edges a little bit. It definitely does have some specks of glitter in it, but it's not huge, it's not really a lot. Before it's had a chance to dry down properly, I'm gonna jump back into the Mitchell palette and I'm gonna use Muffin, which looks white in the pan but has a pink reflect to it. I'm gonna layer that on top of the liquid eyeshadow so that the liquid eyeshadow is acting as a base. That is probably the most I've liked this eyeshadow so far. So now I'm just gonna help blend out a little bit, this time rather than a clean brush. I'm using the Zoeva brushes that I used with each individual shade. And then I'm gonna do the same on the under eye. Just gonna use my Morphe M138 for that. 
Honestly, I don't know what's with me today. I was looking for this brush and it was in my hand. And because I want this to be really, really extra and sparkly, I'm going to jump into the Liquid Fairy Lights from Pixie. This is crystalline, crystalline, I'm not sure. We're just going to add on top, get some glitter in there. Go back into that clean two, three, one and blend it out. I don't know if they make a pink one of these, but if they do, I need it. In fact, I need all of them. Does this need a liner? Can't decide. Let me go with no. Yeah, I don't think I want liner. I think I want to keep it quite simple. So I'm just going to jump in with a coat of mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion. Oh, what colour do I want in my waterline? I really feel like I haven't planned anything out right now. You know what, let's just go monochromatic. Everything pink. I love this liner. This is the NYX Off Tropic liner in Crushing It. I'm probably gonna run out of this one soon and I'm so upset. These were limited edition and I had no idea and I want them to bring them back. I only managed to get two and I wanted all the colors. So NYX, please. These were great, bring them back. All right, that is pretty much it for the eyes. That was actually Pretty easy, I have to say. I'm gonna go and do my skin off camera and I'm also gonna apply my lashes off camera just because there's just no point showing you guys that because I'm never in frame anyway. And then we'll come back and just finish everything off together. All right, so my skin is now done. So I will of course have all the products I use listed in the description box. And then for my lashes, I went with some Daxi Beauty lashes again. This is the Style Lexi. They're all I wear at the moment because they're so cheap. So you can just place an order and try like a load of different styles in one go. So I just have loads that I keep rotating and today I just wanted something a little bit lighter a little bit wispier so yeah pretty happy with those so we just need to finish off the face rather than using the same blushes I always use I think I'm going to jump back into the Mitchell palette and I'm going to use milkshake with a little bit of morning glory mixed in we're going to see how that goes the blush brush I always use is this one it's from iconic London I'm going in with a pretty light hand and I'm just dabbing the excess off on the back of my hand as well because I do like a heavy blush, but where these are so pigmented, I really, really want to take my time with it. I think that's quite pretty. I like to bring my blush up here a little bit as well at the moment. It just gives me a bit more life, almost. I'm just using Milkshake on the nose. I think if I use Morning Glory as well, it'll be a bit too much. I think that's cute. I really don't know. And then for the highlighter, I'm going to jump into Muffin. So I am, as always, using my PC17 from Peaches and Cream. going to see if this works or if I need to add some setting spray. No, nope, there we go. I think it's enough on its own. It's very, very pink. It reminds me of an MUA highlighter, the shade Peach Diamond. So if you don't have this palette, but you wanted a highlighter like this, that's a really, really affordable option that you can pick up. So now that I'm moving on to my nose, I am gonna spray the brush, just because otherwise I feel like it doesn't do enough. I just don't find that it deposits the color as well. I want to intensify the highlight. So I'm gonna jump into my Revolution Highlighter Reloaded. This is Set the Tone. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M330, which is a nice fluffy eyeshadow brush. And just go over it. I'm not gonna go over the whole thing. Just right where the high points are. There we go. I'm gonna do the nose as well. If you are after a really, really blinding white highlight, I mean, this is, again, a really good, affordable option. I'm also gonna take it on a small pencil brush and get the inner corner. Should I get a little bit? Just on the brow bone as well. Just very lightly though. Great highlighter, really can't fault it. If anything, it's too blinding, but I don't really think that's an issue. I'm gonna get in with my setting spray. This is just the MUA Pro Base Mattifying Setting Spray. I haven't really 
really decided what I think of this spray yet because I haven't obviously been out of the house recently with makeup on. So I don't really know if it helps keep me matte throughout the day. But it has that old lady skincare scent. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I mean. Like it smells exactly like the products my nan uses. I don't know what it is. I don't know why they have that smell. Do -do 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 Right, so that just leaves the lips. And I don't know if I want to go full monochromatic and match the lips to the eyes. Or do I just want to go nude? I'm going to go into my Barium Lip Kit in the shade Go To. I have not used this in ages, but I used to love it. It was my favourite. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the second one that I have. I think I already finished one and then repurchased it. And for some reason, I never bought more of them, but I really, really love the formula. So let's see how it goes. in with the liquid lipstick I really don't know how long this has been open for, like it's been a while, but it still smells really, really, really good. And it's like a really thin formula as well. It's not really, really thick. So it glides on really easily. And from what I remember, it was also really, really comfortable. Yeah, there we go, that's dry. And it doesn't feel tight or anything. It's really comfortable. And then I'm gonna go in with an MUA matte lipstick. This is the shade Bonafide. This is one that they sent me in PR. And I'm gonna stick to the center of the lip for now with that. That's really pretty. I like that. Losing my conscience. I really feel like I've rediscovered MUA products like since my trying MUA products last year I feel like the quality has really really gone up and like all these lipsticks that they've sent me I think they're really really nice and they're also incredibly cheap so I think when this is all over we can actually leave the house again I need to go and get more stuff from them goodbye setting spray all right guys that is it for the finished look i hope you like it i i feel really pink yeah what else is there to say i just wanted to do something fun there's a hair in front of my face there we go goodbye i just wanted to do something really fun and it didn't take that long to do like i mean i always take ages to do my makeup anyway but in terms of the eyes this definitely felt like one of the quicker ones that i've done lately there's nothing complicated about it there's no liner yeah it was just really really nice really simple to do and it's very out there but i love it if you enjoyed the video then do as always please give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of it and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video we are so 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 close to a thousand i think right now as i'm recording i'm on 985 so if you haven't already subscribed make sure that you do and i'll see you all on the next one bye guys